Hi, welcome to Market Board Video. Today's video is on Newton's third law of motion. And the big idea for that says that for every force, there's an equal and opposite force. Now you might have heard for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. But the official scientific way of saying it is for every force, there's an equal and opposite force. So let's go through and take a look at what that looks like. Here's what it looks like. When you push on a wall, that wall pushes back on you. And it pushes back on you with a force that's equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So let's think about that for a minute. If you could push on the wall harder than it could push on you with more force than it could push on you, you'd go right through that wall. You'd break the wall. Okay? Think about the movie Shallow Hal, where the girl sat on the chair in a restaurant and the chair broke. It's because she was pushing down with more force than the chair could push up with. When she hit the floor, of course, she stopped because she pushed down with a certain force and the floor pushed up with that same amount of force. If the floor pushed up with more force, she would actually be up in the air. She wouldn't be on the floor anymore, right? So equal in magnitude, so same size, but the opposite direction. Forces always occur in pairs, always, never an exception. A force is always part of a mutual attraction or a mutual action that involves another force. So you're always going to have two forces, and we actually give them special names in physics. They are called, oops, sorry, we haven't gotten there yet. They're there. They're called the action force and the reaction force. Here's officially Newton's third law of motion. Whenever an object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts a force on the first object that is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Now, I don't care if you memorize all those words or not, but what I want you to know is when you hit somebody, um, they hit you back. And I don't mean fists. I mean when you hit someone, uh, their body hits you back. You can't punch a wall without the wall punching you back. That's why people get broken hands when they sometimes punch a wall. You can't, um, you can't perform an action without there being an equal and opposite reaction. I sometimes jokingly refer to this as the brother-sister law because uh, if you hit your brother, he's going to hit you back right? You know what I'm talking about. I don't have brothers. I only have sisters, but I will tell you the sister-sister law as well. Um, so equal and opposite actions. Forces occur in pairs. One is called the action force. One is called the reaction force. But which is which? Well, it doesn't matter. You call whichever one you want the action force. Call the other one the reaction force. Normally the forces, the action force, for my opinion, is the one that is intended you know, if you go to push a kid on a swing, your pushing is the action force. The swing pushing back on you is the reaction force. Um, the important thing to know is that they are partners and that neither force exists without the second one, without its partner. So that's Newton's third law of motion. And it says a force is always part of a mutual action that involves another force. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force. It's equal in magnitude and opposite in direction.